significant AI just increase their capability for upscaling. So now they can do up to 10,000 by 10,000 pixels. So I'm gonna try it out, but I am changing my workflow a little bit here. So this is the Photoshop. And I'm putting this image, which is very low res. And you can see all the faces are pretty deformed and there's no details whatsoever. What I'm gonna do is to remove and then fix the very obvious issues inside of Photoshop first. And then from there, I'm going to put it into Magnificent AI to upscale it. All right, let's get to it. First, obviously right here, there is one more leg. We need to remove that. Let's see if this feel will work. Color. Okay. All right. I'm gonna generate a feel one more time here. Okay. And then you can see these shoes are obviously not going to render really well, so I'm going to actually fix it. Perfect. I wanna remove this person because it just looks weird here. I'm also gonna remove this weird thing here. Let's do it one more time. Probably better. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. And then what I'm gonna do is to remove right here. Let's try a little remove tool, see if we will remove it. Okay, and I uh, wanted to just remove this weird thing here. Mm, so I guess we can a little regenerate this section. going to remove this thing here not bad Ooh, look at these new kicks nice this will for sure enhance way better let's go with these all these layers together we need may need a bigger shoe hmm. they're fun the head is too flat here I just wanna fluff it up Here it's kind of weird. I'm gonna regenerate. Remove that and duplicate this. And merge. In a happy mood. Let's go. I'm excited to see this new image. Everybody looks not very happy here, so I'm adding a, in a happy mood. Hopefully, we'll be happy.
strategy okay see I ended a happy mood and the people are a lot happier <laughs> and uh, it's definitely a better strategy to fix some of the most obvious uh, parts before we enhance the image so that will be the new workflow use the lower and fix it up in Photoshop and then enhance it after you will get better result this way probably need to fix some of the additional issues here one more time in Photoshop but it's a lot easier to fix okay let's go back to Photoshop okay we just need to probably a little bit of a dinner to feel I'm hoping oh. first one we're just gonna set up one First one. we generated this no let's say it's non-binary i just wanna the shoulder was too broad for the proportion of the shoes and she had nail polish so i just want to make her a little bit more fam <laughs> yeah honestly there are just a lot of details like this with ai generated image that once you really look into it you really need to fix that's the downfall of ai generated image with details at least for now but since for now i'll fix this manually with a little bit of photoshop magic i can't keep on zooming and look because i won't be able to finish Stop there. 